Hello. So today we are going to talk about the protein intake in pregnancy. Uh, people are a little confused because these days everybody keeps telling them have more proteins, less of carbohydrates. So what does it include? What does it mean? How much proteins you need to take as a pregnant patient? Uh, well, when you were non-pregnant, we used to tell you to have approximately 0.5 grams per kilogram of your body weight uh, per day as your proteins. And when uh, you get pregnant, by and large, we say around 1 gram to 1.2 grams per kg per day you need to take. So approximately if you are 70 kgs uh, of weight at the moment, you need to take 70 grams of proteins per day, right? So... Uh, the important thing is what are the protein sources which are good. So if you are a vegetarian, which is like a fad these days, so it's a good thing. But, but you know, uh, vegetarians usually uh, have difficulty managing the proteins. But the tip is that usually we say take dals, take uh, uh, dry fruits, take uh, nuts, take seeds. Uh, all those things are high in proteins. Dals and chanas and uh, whole uh, dicot seeds are very, very rich in proteins. But the important thing is you must soak them overnight or sprout them so that their protein becomes in a more usable form. Uh, and if you are a non-veg eater, then, uh, you know, definitely eggs are very good source. There's chicken, there is lean meat. Uh, uh, like pork and all is not lean meat. It has a lot of fat. So uh, these are the things that you can also seafood, but please ensure that you're not having processed meats because those are very, very high salt along with it and which may not be very good for you. Uh, so uh, these are the common sources that you can rely upon. Uh, my, my advice to you is to A, avoid processed meats. Secondly, uh, you need to avoid, uh, you know, these protein powders and protein supplementations. These are not very healthy sources of proteins. Uh, a, they can have a lot of hidden sugars. Uh, B, people, it has been seen that, you know, a lot of times as doctors, we do recommend it, but take it only when we recommend it because if you just take it over the counter, A, you may not have good quality proteins in them. Also, you know, if you uh, have those proteins, um, it has, some research has said that it can lead to low birth weight babies on the contrary, and it can also lead to preterm deliveries which is actually a shock because uh, why people take these protein supplements is they feel that the baby's weight will go up and, uh, you know, they will have a healthier baby. So uh, it has to be taken with a pinch of salt. Not all protein supplements available over the counter are good for pregnant patients, especially if your sugars are a little bit borderline. You could be, a, uh, you know, a borderline diabetic. Your sugars can go up. You can put on enormous quantity of uh, Weight yourself while your baby may still remain small. So take them with a pinch of salt and take healthier proteins. And it, like I keep saying that, you know, include all colors in your diet. And, you know, that way you are not likely to go wrong and you will get all your macros and micros in place. So stick to healthier options. Uh, use your common sense. Wash your uh, dry fruits and nuts and soak them overnight. Avoid processed proteins and avoid protein supplementations which is incessant you know even in first trimester a lot of patients ask me oh my cousin is taking these protein powders are they healthy for me should i be taking them well no you should not be taking them if there is no reason for you to take them if you're a healthy person you are uh, gaining weight well now normally your kidneys are working fine please there is no need to take over-the-counter protein powders they may actually be harmful so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be around. We'll bring more videos on this. Bye-bye.